Hello everyone and welcome to I'll Be Sewing. My name is Gina. It's been a while that I hadn't done a video for you guys and I've had quite a few emails and messages when I was going to get back to videos and so I'm planning this year to uh, get back into the videos and uh, start giving you more projects. Uh, so I was away for a while. Uh, we had uh, the last little while there was a lot of changes that happened in, uh, in the store. We moved the store of location, the location that we had before. Now we are a little bit bigger. We also have a sister company that's um, uh, Source Club and they are a subscription box. So we will be putting a link in the bottom so you can check it out. We also created a new website and we will trying to bring new products and new, new things, new ideas for you guys. Um, so and uh, so that's is what's been happening. That's why I hadn't had very much time. I've been really busy, uh, but now a new year and things are a little bit more, um, you know, more in line to what we want to do. So now I'm getting back to the videos. So for this video here, I'm going to be doing this little. Uh, it's like a little sewing box that I have here. It takes two fabrics for the outside and then uh, another fabric for the inside and linings and for pockets. So uh, this is quite a very simple project. It's not very complicated. Um, uh, it takes a little while because as you see I quilted mine here and the materials that we have here like as you see I put a handmade tag and the material here that I have here is from Maywood Maywood Studios and it's called it uh, Measure Twice. This one is also from their line and we do have these fabrics on the website. On the inside I have a blue, I decided to go with a blue and uh, this is a, a fabric from Northcott and uh, it's from uh, Shimmers, it's called Shimmers. Um, so we have a blue here from Northcott. Also we will be linking all the materials that we use here so you will be easier if you decide that you like these fabrics and want to make the same thing we will link it in the bottom of the video so you can see. Also we will try to put all the measurements for this project. Okay so since you don't know what I'm making here um, let, me, um, let me start with the measurements that we have here. So let's get started with the measurements. Okay, so the pieces that I have here, so what I'm gonna need is, I'm gonna need one fat quarter to make my binding, and I already mine, did mine here. So what I did is, I did, my binding is two inches wide, and I cut my fabric on the bias. So if, my, if this was my fat quarter, I'm just gonna show you, I would be cutting it diagonal like that. So I wouldn't be cutting it straight, I would do diagonal, so I have my fabric on the bias, okay? That's, that's a fat quarter to do this part here, okay? Then you're going to need one, one uh, zipper. This one is zipper by the yard, and I cut 16 inches. You're going to need two zipper pulls. I have mine here. Then I'm going to be inserting one from this side, one from that side, so my back can open in both directions. Uh, I also have here one handmade, and this one that I'm using here is metal. Then for my outside, for my handle, I have a piece here. That's this one here, and it's three inches by eighteen and a half. So for the the body of the bag of the little sewing bag, we're going to be needing two fabrics for the outside and I did two contrast fabrics and this is going to be 18 by 10. We're going to be cutting these down later though. Okay, and then for the lining we're going to need also two pieces that's going to be 18 by 10 and then to make it a little stiffer and stand up we're using our form and th this our form that I have here is fusible to one side so there's a glue on the side and here is plain. It doesn't stick. Okay, that's and again the same size as your outside fabric and your lining. So 18, so 18 by 10. Okay, and then for the pocket to put inside, we have here, and the piece that I have here is 10 by 20. So I have 10 by 20 length for my pocket. Okay, so the pocket where we're going to do is it's going to be folded in half like this and um, and then I'm going to show you how to put it on. Okay, so first our first step is going to be preparing our 
Oh, we also gonna be needing, and I don't see it here. Um, we're gonna be needing some R form for our handle. So let me just grab my piece. So this piece of R form that we're gonna do for our handle is one inch by uh, 17 and a half. So it's a little shorter than the fabric that you see here. Okay. So after you have all your pieces that you need, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start preparing our handle. How do we prepare our handle? You're gonna go ahead and fold your handle in half like that. You can go ahead and take this to sewing machine with a quarter of an inch seam allowance. You're gonna sew here, down here to about here, leave an opening here in the middle, and then sew here, and then also close this side. So your opening is not gonna be on the ends. It's gonna be here somewhere in the middle. After you've done that, you're gonna grab your piece of our form that's sticky to one side. You're gonna go ahead and take this to the iron and you're gonna press it. All right, so I'm gonna put this to the side because I'm gonna be doing that step and I'm gonna show you the pocket. So our piece for the pocket that's 10 by 20, you're gonna go ahead and fold it the 10 side down and we're gonna go ahead and fold it this way. And we're gonna do a seam on top here. So the folded part, we're gonna do a seam just to create a little edge there. And we're gonna put that to the side. Okay, now we need to prepare the pieces for our uh, body of our bag. So we're gonna grab one piece of our form. Your piece, that's gonna be the front piece, whatever fabric you decide that's gonna be this front piece. You're gonna grab that, and in this case, it's gonna be mine here. And what I have, the pieces that I have here is, is 10 by 18, so 10 by 18. And I'm gonna go ahead and take this to the iron and fuse these two together, just these two, with no fabric in the back. After I'm done the fusing, this is gonna be stuck together I'm gonna try to quilt it. So you quilt it however you want. You can do free motion, you can, you know, uh, do wiggly lines, if you wanna be, go around the, the pictures that you have there, whatever you decide. You can create a, gr a grid, so a cross in pieces like that. I tend a lot, a lot of times to do a grid, as you see here. Um, but it's entirely up to you how do you wanna quilt this part okay and as soon as you've done that quilt it like that you're going to also put it to the side then you have your other fabric from the outside so you're going to grab that one there in this case for us it's going to be this red here okay this is my outside again the the piece measurement it's 10 by 18 and we're going to go ahead we have our sticky side of our R form. We're gonna get this fabric, we're gonna put it on top and press it, okay? Gonna press it really well. Then we need to also put our lining on this piece because we don't really need our lining to be loose on this piece since we're doing binding. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab one of the pieces that's supposed to be our lining, okay? We're gonna put it on top here like right sides out like this and so they can stay together you're going to use a spray or pens however you want it to leave it like that with the R form in, in between and you're going to go ahead and quilt it again you can do a grid wiggly lines uh, picture hearts whatever you decide that you want to do you're going to go ahead and quilt it okay um, so you're going to quilt like this Okay, so also again, as soon as you've done that, you're gonna put those to, you're gonna put it to the side. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do all those pieces and I'll come back and let you know what's the next step. So I'm back from the sewing machine. So I sewed my handle and I fused my R form to it. So all I need to 
do now is turn this inside out and you can use a pen or a turning tool to turn it inside out to the other side and after you turn it to the right side you're gonna go ahead and do a top stitch in both sides of your handle okay um, then this is your pocket I did a top stitch right here in the folded side and then I went ahead and did a grid in my pieces for the outside. So this one only has the R form. That's going to be the front of my bag. And the one that's going to be the back and the lid and the bottom is this one here. And this one has already the lining fabric attached to it. And I already also did a grid. I also, what I also did was I cut these down to the right size. So the this one here the red one it's going to be the one that's going to go around like for the lid and stuff this one is going to be you're going to trim it down to eight and a half by fifteen and a half and the one that's going to be the body of your fabric you're going to do eight and a half by sixteen inches okay um, so they only really about a half an inch difference in size uh, but later on I'm going to explain to you that sometimes you might still have to trim down depending of the size of the zipper that you're using and also depending of the seam allowance that you're using around the zipper when we attach this. Then we still have our other uh, lining fabric that's for the front piece of your bag that we still didn't attach. But this is going to be take place when we sew the zipper because we want the zipper to be inside here. So I'm going to go ahead now is attach the zipper. And as you see, this one's still bigger. This is still 10 by 18. We're still going to have to cut this down. But we can go ahead and attach, cut it to size now, to the size that you have here, to the front. Or you can attach the zipper first and, and then trim it down. It's entirely up to you how you want to do it. Okay, in my case, I'm going to go ahead and just attach my 16 inch zipper. So I'm going to have my fabric here. So I'm going to go ahead and put zipper side down like this. And I'm going to use either clips or even, um, I don't know, pins. And go ahead and sew my zipper to that piece. And then go ahead and attach my lining on top. So right side to right side, a zipper in the middle as a sandwich. And I'm going to go ahead and sew this across. Okay, I'm going to go ahead in the sewing machine and do that. Okay, so I came back from the sewing machine and I sew my zipper to um, my outside fabric, the body that goes around of the fabric, the, the bag, and to my lining. And I already went ahead and did a top stitch. I also trimmed the piece. There was 10... Uh, it was 18 by uh, 10. I cut it down to eight and a half to uh, to the same size as the front, eight and a half by um, by 16. Okay, so I trim it down to the same size. Now I need to attach to my lining. I need to attach my pocket. So I'm going to go ahead and find the middle of this piece here. I'm going to go ahead and fold it and see where my middle is and mark it. You can use a marking pen. These are great because they erase with the heat. You're going to mark that. Or in this case, you can also go like that and you can tell where it is. It's right there. I already marked it with the pen. Then you're going to grab your pocket, you know, and we're going to only attach a pocket to our lining. We don't want to have any seams in that piece. So you're going to grab your pocket. You're also going to fold this in half. Find your middle, right? Find your middle and do a lining. There, I already did mine here. Then you're gonna go from the edge of your fabric, from this side, you're gonna go four and a half in and you're gonna do another line. And on this side, the same thing, four and a half in and you're gonna do another line, okay? Then you're going to go ahead and match the center line to the, the middle of the pocket there, right there. And we're going to go ahead and sew this here to our lining. In this case, I'm just going to put pins so I can sew them all at the same time. Okay. Okay, 
Then I'm going to go ahead on this side here, I'm going to bring the edge of my fabric to the edge of my lining here. Okay, I'm going to put a pin to hold it in place, but I also am going to do a seam here to hold this pocket here. And then where I have this line here, I'm also going to sew here to create this pocket here. We're going to go ahead and do the same to this side. So, so here. And where we have our line, we're going to go ahead and do another seam there. So, now as you see, we have all this extra fabric here in the middle, right? So we have sewed here and here, and we have this extra here. So we're going to divide the extra fabric a little bit to each side, a little bit to that side, and a little bit to this side, like that. And the same with this side here, you have the, the seam there, right? We're going to fold a little bit to this side, and a little bit to this side to create a pocket. So this will be folded a little bit in here to the line, a little bit here to the line, and the same thing here. And after you have that folded that way, you're going to go ahead and do a seam here in the bottom to hold this in place. And these two pockets here in the middle are going to be like this, so they have a little bit more room for you to put bigger things or, you know, like thread, for example. It will fit a little bit better when you have this type of pocket. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and take this to the sewing machine and do that, and I'll be right back. So I'm back to the sewing machine. I sew my pockets in place, and this is what they look like. See if I can give you a better look. So they look like that. They have a little bit more body. So, and remember that the pocket is only sewed to the lining fabric, okay? So we're going to go ahead, after you've done this, you're going to flatten this up, and what I want you to do is go ahead and do a seam all the way around securing this fabric to the front piece, because we're going to do binding, so we're going to need these to be together to be a little bit easier to work with, okay? After you've done that, what I want you to do is find the middle here, have your fabric here, and find your middle here. And before we attach the body piece to this, we're going to go ahead and put our zipper pulls in. So I'm going to put one from each side. If you've never done this, this is zipper pull. They're not complicated. So I'm going to go ahead and open my zipper a little bit. And I'm going to get my zipper pull, round side in, and I'm going to go there and put it there on the side and just slide it in. Okay, that's in through that side. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing to this side, open my zipper, round side in. I'm going to go ahead, slide that side in, go ahead, slide that slide in. Make sure my zipper is even across. When I know it's even, I just do a little push in and the zipper pull is in. So, after we've done that, we have our both of our zipper pulls. We're going to grab this piece here and we're going to prepare this piece. So this is my outside and this is my inside. So what I'm going to do is I want to add my line, my my binding already to this piece before I attach this piece to the zipper. So I'm going to put this to the side for now. I'm going to grab the piece, this piece that's going to go here on my bag. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and attach my binding just to make it a little easier later on. So I'm going to go ahead and start it somewhere here. Let's see. Yeah, like this. So I'm going to start somewhere here in the, on one of those bigger sides and we're going to go ahead and either pin it or uh, sew it. It's like normally we do binding. So you're going to go here, go this way. 
So when you get to the tip, so here, you're going to go up like that, fold it, and as straight line, and then fold it back as we normally do binding. And then we're going to go ahead and keep sewing it. The same thing, keep sewing it here. When you get here, you can stop about a quarter of an inch to the edge, about a quarter of an inch. Then you're going to go ahead again and fold it up so you have a straight edge going up, full, following it, this edge here, and you're going to fold it down like that. You want to make sure you have a 45 degree here. Keep folding it down. Same thing here, gonna keep going here. S keep sewing all the way here, quarter of an inch from the edge. Folding it up, down again. And the same thing, sew it for all the way to here, quarter of an inch. From the edge you stop, fold your fabric up, fold it down. This part here, you can go ahead and fold this area in or just a little bit in. You're going to bring that one in a little bit. And then you're going to go ahead and cut it here. still have a piece left. So you're going to go ahead and sew that like that and then when you fold it it doesn't really matter because this is going to be inside so you don't have to worry about doing a 45 degree or anything. You can leave it that way. So I'm going to go ahead and touch this and come back and show you the next step. So I'm back from the sewing machine. I attach my binding to the inside of the piece that's for the bag did that. Then we're going to go back to this piece here that I told you to um, sew this around um, so this would stay put so when we attach the binding will stay better. But before you do that, if you're going to want to attach a handmade tag, like a metal one, you would have to do this now before you sew that down because this has to go between your lining and your front piece. On this case here, because this was attached with grommets, so I didn't have to do that. I could just uh, put the grommets on top of the fabric and it didn't really matter if it showed any inside. But on this case, you don't want to show these folded pieces on the inside, so we have to attach this first. So I'm going to lift that. I'm going to find somewhere where I want to put it. So this is my middle here. So. Right around there, I think, will be good. Right there. So I can go ahead and let me just put my ruler there and kind of do a line from the middle. So it's around there. So if I put this here. Let's see, one, two, three, one, two, three, so right about there, one, two, three, one, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, 
one, two, three, four, that's the middle. So I'm going to mark it here with that so I know where I'm going to make the little holes to put the handmade tag. With a seam ripper, you're going to make a little hole here and there. Put that through. Let me just grab a seam ripper. I'm going to put it like that. Pour your little plaque in the back. And fold it in. Okay. And our handmade is in the middle. So now we can go ahead and just sew these down all the way around to one so it stays put before we go to the next step. So after you go ahead and sew this here, you already have your middle here marked. You're gonna go ahead to this piece here. In the size that eight and a half, you're gonna find the middle. So you're gonna go ahead. It's either clip a little piece or Mark it with a pen, whatever you decide is fine. That's the middle. We're also going to find the middle to this side also. We have the middle of the zipper, we're going to find the middle down here also. Okay, so I have the middle here. So we're going to grab one of this middle here, right here. And we're going to match this middle to this part here. And we're going to go ahead and secure it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead, I'm just going to do a couple stitches here securing these two together before I show you the next thing that you're going to do. Okay. So I'm back from the sewing machine. I've secured this part here, as I told you, the, the middle and the middle here. Just give a couple stitches to secure in place. And now what I want you to do, we need to check if this size is correct, otherwise we might need to trim. Because depending on the size of your zipper and depending on the seam allowance that you sewing around the zipper, you might end up being either too short or too big. So you might be have to uh, trim a little bit of one fabric to adjust the size to fit perfectly. So what I want you to do is I want you to pick up pins, pins or clips. In this case, I think clips works better. So I have this little clip gadget here that I can put in my arm. And then I'm going to go ahead and clip this around. So I'm going to go here and so I'm... This is what's happening here. So I'm attaching that on top of that zipper there in the middle, going like this. And we're going to go ahead and clip this like this. And this corner here, we're going to go like this. And the zipper keeps going around here like that. here. I'm going to do the same to this side. After you've done like that, you're going to go ahead and Bring the marking the middle here to your marking middle here, and you're also going to put a clip there. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and go this direction like that. So we're going to go put, keep putting clips to here and clips to here because we want everything to be centered. Okay. So then, keep your binding all the time folded 
that direction. And then here, I'm going to go this way also. And this way. And then we're going to check here, see if we have the, the, the correct amounts. Okay, so in my case here, this is perfect. Okay, it's fitting in here perfect. If you end up having this part here, this, this part here in the middle here too big, you can always trim a little bit here on the sides to accommodate this here. Okay, so in our case, we're really good. So I'm going to check the other side, make sure everything is good, but it looks good. So since the side, the size is correct, you know it's correct, so you don't have to make adjustments, you can go ahead and sew this. Okay, so how are we going to sew it to make it a little easier? Okay, so we're going to need to sew all this around. Like this, if you have it all like this, it's going to be a little hard. So I prefer to do this in stages. So as I pinned, that's the same way I sew. So I'm going to take all these ones here from the bottom for now, and I'm going to explain how I do it. So, the way I do it is we already have this secure here in place in the middle. So I'm going to go ahead and sew this, this direction, that to that direction, and sew these. And stop about a quarter of an inch so I'm a little bit easier to fold this down like that. Okay, so you're going to do that. And you're going to go ahead sew this way and to here, and then sew the zipper down to about here and stop there. You're going to go ahead and do the same thing here. Sew it this direction, this way. Stop a quarter of an inch, turn your zipper, and then sew this down again to here. Okay? Then you're going to stop there. After you've done that part, you're going to bring this part here to the bottom, to the bottom here, and you're going to work on the bottom. So you're going to go ahead and sew this, this direction, and this part this way. Okay? Just like that. And do the same thing to this side, from here to here, and then from here to here. Then you can close both sides here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I'll be right back. So I'm back from the sewing machine, so I sewed all the way around my piece. I attach everything. If you have a couple little corners that are a little bit big, you can trim those off. Uh, even the zipper here to round it up a little bit. Just like that. Trim this off a little bit. Okay. You can turn it to the right side and check, make sure you cut everything. But see, just because we already attached the part for the binding, now it's a little bit easier so we don't have to do an extra. It's already there. So it's a little bit easier because if you had to attach not that there now, this part here, on now, the, the, it will be a little bit more difficult. But because it's already there, now all you have to do is fold this like this and fold to this side. So fold and fold to this side. And you can either sew this by hand or take it to the sewing machine and sew it by the sewing machine. It's up to you how you want to do it. But because it's on the bias, it's going to go around these curves pretty easy. So you fold and then fold again. See? So you can take to the sewing machine and do a top stitch or sew it by hand if you're more comfortable. Okay, so fold and fold. Thank you. 
and then you can go ahead and sew all of that sewing machine or by hand it's up to you after you've done that you're gonna open your zippers Okay, and turn it to the right side. I'm going to take these clips here because I'm going to sew this afterwards so I don't have to, uh, you don't have to wait around for me to finish sewing. So I can turn it to the right side. So I'm going to go ahead and just take those clips. But you have the idea. And you're going to turn it around to this side. Fix your bottom, okay, and now you need to attach the, the strap, okay, so you're going to go about one and a half in to this way and uh, about one and a half to two inches down and you're going to put that there. And you can take to the sewing machine and do a seam, or you can do the same way that I did on this one. So, so remember, two and a, two, uh, one and a half in, about two inches down, and you're gonna put that there. I'm going to take these now for now until I sew my binding. Then you're going to go ahead and And your bag is done. It looks like that with your handle. In mine, I'm gonna just gonna put a couple grommets, like I did on this one. You see, I did some grommets here, so I'm just gonna put a couple grommets. Uh, but you can sew it. I mean, you don't have to have grommets. And your bag is done. I hope uh, you like this project. Uh, if you like this project, give us a thumbs up, and don't. If you are not already subscribed, subscribe to the to the to I'll be sewing, and you can always click the like button uh, so you can um, get um, get notifications when we do new videos. Uh, see you next time. Happy sewing.